How you doing? This is a, a quick little tutorial, not just on graphing, but also um, in this case, we want to be able to have this line extended. And it's really important to get the data to figure out where this line is going to hit the x axis. So here's the deal we have a volume of gas. You'll have different data. We'll have a volume of gas, we have a temperature of this gas. <coughs> and Ideally, what we'd like to find is that, if, in theory, if this were an ideal gas and this were get, to get to zero volume, what would that temperature be? Where would it be? So we're trying to figure that out. And the only way you can do that is you've got to be able to extend the line. So let's see if we can go through this. We'll use some of the same skills we used before. First thing we do is to highlight the data. I simply go up here, uh, highlight my, my data. I go to Insert, uh, go to Chart. Now, I know it sounds crazy. Remember? you want to do an XY scatter um, because again a line graph would make too much sense we want an XY scatter which is this one down here click on it and we end up getting this getting this uh, graph here now so if I click insert okay uh, this is great the only problem is we really need to fix this and the reason we need to fix it is because uh, this we're not going to see where the line sort of hits the x-axis because you'll so here's what what, what we'll do we're, we'll do some advanced edit here and we have to extend both axes okay so watch how I do this let's go to advanced edit uh, click on it okay there we go now so the first thing we'll do is to go to the horizontal axis and the horizontal axis is the temperature and what you want to do for the temperature is we need to reset this the minimum set to negative 300 and the maximum is 100 okay now trust me for this data this is we we're, we'll we'll need to do this uh we've got it set to 100 now and i know that that's long but it, it'll work now once you have this we're going to go up here and now we need to work on the vertical axis okay so and this is the important one too so for the vertical what we need is the highest is about 36 so that's fine but the lowest has to be a volume of zero okay so let's go to zero and we hit update and let's see what now this actually looks pretty good so here's what we really need to do now we need to get that trend line in there okay so get the trend line let's click on the data do a right click uh, and let's do advanced edit okay and we want to do an advanced edit and here's the important part Okay, for this advanced edit, let's scroll down, and it's going to say right here, uh, not error bars, data label, trend line, and it says none. We want a trend line, and most likely, and I know this isn't the best day in the world, but it looks kind of like a line. I mean, we can pick it, but let's go ahead and go with line, and then once we go with line, that's the trend line we want, and we want to be able to estimate where it hits. Now, really important scroll back down make sure you have to click show the r squared value hit update okay now we need one last thing and what we need is the equation of the line so in click on view mode go down to here and you have got to get that equation okay so what we want to do is to see if we can if we can get the equation of the line and make sure to include that in our graph Okay, so that's really, really important. Uh, and what we can do is, um, there's a couple ways we can do this. You can kind of estimate where it's going to hit once we have all the data, where, when we have zero, where it hits. Or you can get this equation here and say, hey, if Y is the volume, let's set that to zero. So let's set that Y to zero and solve for X. Either way, but that's what we need to get for this lab. Okay, thank you and have a great day.